In today's video, Charlie Kirk is discussing a very interesting topic. He mentions that many people debate whether you can impose your beliefs on others. However, he disagrees with this notion and believes that there are certain situations where you should impose your beliefs on others. Let's go directly to the video to see the whole discussion. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Let's start. Who are you to say what is right and wrong? And that's not a new question. Um, I thought that that would be probably well understood by the time you get to college. And that really does ask the question of what is the purpose of college, right? Where I, I think college should be exploration of the good, the true, and the beautiful. And what is right, what is good? How should you as a human being properly develop? You know, it's the, it was a really interesting question where they said, you know, your beliefs should not be able to be imposed on somebody else. But it's not true. At some point, somebody's belief is going to be imposed on you. Even the absence of a belief is somebody's belief. Only spending an exhaustive amount of time in a lecture hall listening to someone who hates about America could you come to such a ridiculous conclusion as that. There's just one fact that will tell you everything you need to know. America is the only nation on the planet where even those who hate it and they say they hate it, they refuse to leave. I completely agree with Charlie Kirk when you debate such topics in colleges where the answers are negative and you are constantly told that things are bad in America, that there are issues and problems, it doesn't mean we shouldn't discuss these things. However, if your focus is only on these negative aspects and you debate more on negative topics and less on positive ones, the final outcome will be very strange. As Charlie Kirk says, we should also talk about positive things to encourage people so they can take pride in our country. We should highlight what our country is good at, what we have that others don't and what other countries lack. I believe this way amidst the war, the love for one's country and the desire to do something for it will increase. Please let us know in the comments what you think about this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for listening and supporting me. Take care.